Hi there, today we are here to thrill you with most of our exciting shots. Uh, so far, if you have been following us up, you'll be able to testify to the fact that we have been um, upgrading you with most of our self defense and streets actions. And today, we are going to really work on streets, realities of streets, um, um, uh, weapon attack, particularly stick attack on the streets. So I want to remind us the first timers to always remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be the first to get the notification of our videos as they drop. So please stay tuned and And enjoy this. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. He is here on the street. He wants to strike me. You take your strike. Just simple. No time wasted. Now I explain. How do, you, how do you feel? Now I explain. Now let's break it down. Come the same way. Hold on first. First thing you need to know about a weapon attack. Stick in particular since we're working on the stick now. So let me talk about stick specifically. You do not give room. If he's advancing, whoever is with a weapon with a stick advancing, you also advance to him. If now coming slowly, now if he was as he was coming, coming slowly, I back out. That is what I will get. Because the time for me to back out, to go away from the range of the stick, might be too far. And if if for venture I happen to escape by comes in slowly, escapes by backing out, now I give him room to advance again. So my backing out will not, will, will not yield anything positive for me. So the best way is, is advancing, just like you saw. Advance, I advance in. And as I came in, I came in with a strike to the chest. And I, I found with a punch here, sending him off. A punch to the back of the neck. Do we understand that? All right. Now we are still going to see another move. He may choose to take another form, I don't care. So whatever he does is none of my business, but what I will do to escape whatever is coming with is what I am concerned about. Okay, I am here. Now you can take your form as you want to. Bah! I can add this. I can add anything I want to. <sighs> All right, let me explain that process again. He came with a stick. Like I told you, for you to be able to escape, do not give room by retrieving why he is coming. He advances, I advance. Now coming slowly, I move him here. Once, what I did here is I step in, Striking the hand to the other direction and grabbing here with, with a swing and I release this <clears throat> Okay Let's take that once again the way he came Now come the same way again. I move in locking this hand by locking this hand already, I have discomfort him because I lock the hand back to him and I turn him this way and with his, I swing him down and I release whatever I want to release on him and I'm done with him. Okay, that's number two. Okay. Okay. Mm, yes, sir. Thank you for my observation based on what I saw and the video he did. I kind of had some questions to ask. Go ahead. Like, she doesn't have a big sister. So if, I got to the first one you did, if someone was carrying a stick like this, and you'd be like, it's a street guy. Now, be on the road, we try to chance you, we try to collect your phone or something that you have. 
like and it's now coming with the steel like trying to like intimidate you see. So it may be it may be kind of a little bit kind of fast now. So for you to come and catch something like this. So how will you be able to be like with that kind of speed, that kind of intention, like with this move? So that that's what he wants to do before he now come and enter his body like that. That one thank you. Okay, now you are with a stick and at this range you are here and the stick is long and you are holding the stick by the head good now before by the time you are talking to me now talk 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 to me as if you are you are looking aggressive and no, <laughs> okay now with this i don't feel threatened because this stick is not in motion yet now put the stick in motion you see that that is why i said my first statement about a weapon, the stick particularly, is do not give room, don't give space. You advance. When he's advancing, you advance. Like what you saw. He just came. And if I had waited for him or retreated when he came, he would have gotten me with the stick. But when he advanced, I advanced two times. Two times his range. That was why I was able to get in even before. So by the time I got in, I got in with a strike. Okay, but sir, if, if it was like that, then maybe you wouldn't have waited until he had lifted the stick up because as he was trying, maybe when he wants to lift the stick, his body will already move to show that he wants to use the stick to attack. So maybe you wouldn't have waited till that time. So I was like thinking that why will you have to wait till he now lift the stick up before now? Okay, now why he was able to succeed to come with that strike was yeah. that we were not at this range. He was there, I was here. The distance was far. So, and the stick was already in motion. You understand? The stick was already in motion. So, I, I allow him, he has taken his range. So I rush in two times to bridge his range. Now, from the what you are now trying to think that it wouldn't have been that way, it would have been this other way, is because you, you are talking, you are thinking we were close. If we are close at this range, I won't allow him to even put the stick in motion to that point of striking from the top. Because from here, now you want to put, you saw what the example, you try to put the stick in motion. I advance him. And when advancing, because I have sensed that you putting the stick in motion, you will strike. So I wouldn't even wait for you to strike. Once you put the stick in motion, I have entered and strike you instead. You understand now? So you have to be smart and sharp. Okay. Uh, sir, based on the second move that you did, the second technique you showed and the self defense. So I was like, <laughs> because according to him, he, he moved like this. Automatically. Then he now blocked. Uh -huh. So this is the sweet guy. And let's say sweet is trying to be like chancing you and like in the conversation or whatever. Maybe he just wants to hit you because nobody is a mad person. So I will come and hit you like that without finding a fault. So in a real life situation, what we what really need as a stick guy, what we really need to walk to come and hit you a stick whereby you just stand like this and place a stick here and just hit you straight. So yeah, because this is the fact that you are already in this range. But there is no need for him to move on to hit you again. You can just stand for me and hit you away. So that was explain that why will you have to move on like that and hit you like that? Alright. <coughs> there's there's rules of of using the stick. We have a long stick, we have a short stick. This is the long stick. Now, just walk there, get the short stick. Let me get things straight. Get the short stick. Okay. Now, the possibility or the, the way you approach the long stick. Now, from what you are saying, you are basically talking about the long stick has weight on its own that for you to pick it up from here and just strike it will be difficult you have to death except you are trained in using stick then you see where I'm holding it almost at the center but if it is a short stick you can pick from here and it is only a trained and a martial artist that can pick stick from here and strike. Pick from here and strike. But a layman on the stick will have to do this. 
Now, where is the point of your counter? The point of your counter is the time between the your advantage. So before, by the time it gets to the point of strike, you are already in. So if striking now will be useless. So that is the point. The long stick has a longer range while the short stick has a shorter range. Hold the long stick. <clears throat> I, you cannot be with the long stick and I allow you from this point to take any strike and I advance. Because I realize the stick is strong. So, and I cannot really ascertain your, your, your acceleration of advancing. You might advance deeper, not far, further inside than I will retreat. So that placed me on a danger point. So, but preferably, because the, the point is I must lift the stick up. I must advance here. Because this is where the target is. So even if I get to this point and you happen to hit me with a stick on this point, the pressure will be less. I'll be able to absorb the pressure from you. But from here is where the point is. The, the, the contact effect really is good. So my advancing in, I think, is a better op option than pulling out. Now, if it is with a short stick, hold the short stick. If it is with a short stick, okay. This is, I can decide to advance, and this one, advancing with this, needs more technicality and more swiftness. So, if you happen to be faster to strike here, I can pull back because I know the range, I can, I can free myself from the range based on the length of the stick. But if I know I am fast too and smart, before you strike in, I should be able to advance in. So that is the two ways of how to, to check on the, the usage of long and short stick. They have different, different approach. You don't use the approach of the long stick for the short stick. All right, hand over the short stick to him. Let's do it for you to see or for us to see what I'm talking about. Now he's going to strike away. A wave out to show you the, the play within that has to do with the range of the long and the short. Now wave, pull out. See that? No, hold on. We are breaking it here. We are breaking it. Go. See that? Now step again. Go. Go. All right. Now why did I wave out? I will not do that with the long stick because. Doing that will be very terrible because for me to go that way and approach in back, it will be it will not be an easy task. So the short stick is simple to go that way. It takes because why I had to move, wave out is because I maybe I I, I was I, I noticed he took me faster before my advancement. So he waves go, I move out. Then while I move out, I know from here. I wouldn't wait. He might, he might come back or he might not come back. But I don't need to wait for him to come back. So by the time I go out, I'm moving. Now my moving in here is to strike him down. Bah! As simple as that. Alright? Okay. Now let's kill it. Ready? Go. Bah! All right, with this, we're going to pause here for today. Um, I'm sure viewers, you, you, have have, you have gotten yourself some exciting moments by these clips. Just watch them and try to learn from them. Till we meet again. Please, first time do not remember, do not forget to subscribe and then hit the bell so that you can have the first hand of our videos as they drop. Thank you.